Hello world, I'm Rich, and this is Rich's World Beer Tour. Stout weeks continue. I'm filming this, you're gonna see this on Monday, I'm filming this uh, Sunday night, watching the, uh, watching the Wild Game. I was over in Wisconsin, stopped off at Casanova, uh, great beer store over in Hudson, Wisconsin. What do I see sitting there? Something I've been looking for for about three years. I've never had this. Central Waters Brewing out of Amherst, Wisconsin. You've seen a bunch of their beers on the World Tur Beer Tour. Their Cherry Stout. It is bourbon barrel, cherry stout. They throw 75 pounds of tart Dewar County cherries into each oak barrel with a rich imperial stout and then age it for six months. Now this one is a 2014. I'm thinking, hey, I got the freshest stuff out there. This is 2014. I remember, I think it was last spring, I'm watching uh, Eric Wood do his review. I think it was uh, last spring, and he had a 2014. So this is already nine months old, six months old, nine months old, something like that. Um, what the heck? I'm going to put one in my belly tonight, sit and watch the rest of the game and, and uh, see what we got. I have never had this. I've he I heard about it and then couldn't find it one year and then we had a drought and there was a bad drought up here in upper Midwest and the cherry crop wasn't good. So they couldn't make it that year and then last year, apparently this is last year's model. Oh man, do you see how quick that head dropped off? Just absolutely gone. Oh, you're not seeing through it. Although there are some, if I hold it right up to the light, it's not black black like uh, they're, they're stouts. This has got a little more of a brown hue, a little bit of ruby red, maybe around the edges. It is not the black stout I'm used to. And on the nose, I'm getting the bourbon right away. Big bourbon, big bourbon notes. But I'm getting this tart cherry uh, bit. But the, the bourbon is still, I don't know how this is going to age. Um, if the cherries are going to totally fall off. But I'd like to take the, the cherries up and take that uh, bourbon smell down. I love the bourbon that Central Waters uses in the barrels. Um, it's always nice with that barley wine. Found some new uh, 2015 of their barley wine, so I've got some of that down in the cellar already. Oh, it smells good. I'm getting bourbon and, and some tart cherry, although that tart cherry is below the bourbon. Let's give it a try. Cheers, world. It's, we're reversed here. Right away, tart cherry. Tart cherry greets you right on that initial sip. The bourbon is really back. It's there, but it's back. I'd read that people are guesstimating that the ABV is around 10% on this. I'm feeling a little heat. I'm not uh, a little alcohol uh, sticking to the the cherry is right there at the start and then it gives way to the bourbon and then the cherry comes back at the end I'm not getting a lot of stout at all I'm not getting much chocolate much any of that I'm getting the carameliness of the bourbon in the middle let me get one more sip here I'm digging this Yeah, you get the carameliness, a little vanilla from the bourbon. You get the booziness in the middle on either end. Tart cherries, um, a little bitterness from the cherry, kind of a, uh, a little rhubarb note or a, uh, a bit of a sour at the beginning and then definitely at the end. The more I talk, I'm feeling the alcohol, I'm feeling the warmth of the alcohol, but I'm, I'm tasting the sour, the, the tart cherry, all those little, almost, uh, it's not sour, sour like a sweet tart, but it is right on the edge there. It is a very tart, it is real cherry versus, uh, I've had a couple other beers that 
use like a cherry extract or something and it's like a cough syrup with with beer this is the real deal delicate subtle yet tart and uh, really nice rating on this I'm gonna I'm, I'm holding back a little bit on this I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 the only way the only reason I don't go bigger don't go higher is because the beer isn't bigger it's thin it's thinner than I would like I would like to have a stout be a little more robust a little more roast in it a little more chocolate coming in a chocolate cherry combination could be incredible the cherries dominate on this and I'm fine with that it's really nice it's almost as if it's a a barrel aged cherry sour um, I just don't see any of the stout coming into this um, and that's the only the only thing the body of it and bring that stout up this could be a world-class beer um, just by knocking that up give me a little fudge brownie in with that cherry uh, and that bourbon oh man this would be uh, absolute killer. It's it's a great beer, so I'm not knocking it. Nine out of ten. Um, I'm hoping Eric. If you guys haven't checked out Eric's uh, channel, Eric Wood, uh, another local guy here from the Twin Cities. Great reviews. Eric does a lot of the beers that I'm able to get a hold of as well. Eric seems to get them quicker, but um, great reviews. Check out Eric. But uh, Eric, hopefully you're watching. You can throw down some comments. See if I'm in line here. See if this thing, after aging six to nine months, if it uh, is consistent with what you've had. i got to go search his channel for uh, his review again. Um, if you've also had it, put some comments. But if you haven't, um, look for it. It's a great little cherry stout. Although uh, the stout, again, wish it would come up a little bit. Anyways, hey, Stout Week. Happy Monday. Uh, cheers, world.